What you guys got another video here for you on how to speed up and how to upgrade an old slow laptop. Now, is it worth upgrading or is it worth just buying a brand new laptop? Well, that's going to depend on many different things on what type of laptop it is and what you actually expect to do with that laptop. So if you already have the laptop uh, in your person and you just want to upgrade it and make it a bit more usable, then you can do. You can see here this is uh, Toshiba Satellite Pro and this is the AMD variant so that means it's not the one of the best uh, versions of laptops out there so what you want to do is look at the model of laptop and find out uh, what sort of category it's in whether it's a budget laptop mid-range or high-end now ideally you want to try to get the i5s and i7s but it, but this old AMD uh, processor in here I would put this into the sort of budget category laptop it's not that uh, expensive and of course it was definitely not high-end now of course what we want to do here is try and keep the cost down so we're going to go with a cheap ssd here now you could put a terabyte ssd in here but that would cost more than what the laptop is worth and i think that is not worth doing so if you do need a lot of storage uh, then it's not worth doing but of course this is only a 250 gig hard drive or solid state drive that's going to be put in here we've also got uh, some memory which I picked up Now the laptop only has four gigabytes of memory fortunately I can put another four gigs in here which makes it eight Now that doesn't necessarily mean that the laptop is going to be super duper fast after you put eight gigs of memory in it, it just gives it a bit more um, breathing space when you're upgrading to Windows 10 and if you're putting Linux on here then it's going to run super smooth and super fast so these are the things you have to sort of take into account. What we're going to do is take off the back and uh, upgrade this uh, laptop. Now, if you're fortunate enough, you may have a socketed CPU on the motherboard, which means if it's an old i3, you might be able to upgrade that to an i5 or an i7, which makes the laptop then even more usable. And normally uh, you can check this out uh, with the CPU that you got in there. You can take the back off and then uh, get down to the main board and find out whether the board has a socketed CPU or whether it's surface mounted to the board itself. This one I think is surface mounted so you can't upgrade the CPU. So I'm just gonna have to do the SSD and the memory. Now the Intels of this early year were normally uh, socketed so you could upgrade these. So I'm just gonna remove this back panel. Now the good thing about this sort of laptop means that you can get to uh, the memory and the hard drive without taking the whole thing apart. Some of the other laptops out there on the market used to make you have to strip it down and to get to the actual hard drive they're buried in the laptop. So the first thing we're going to do here is swap out the uh, RAM and also the hard drive and we'll see what the sort of a performance we can get with this um, AMD dual core processor. So again, if you're looking for mass storage here for this laptop then you will have to get more than the 250 gig solid state drive but personally i wouldn't go dropping a load of cash into these old laptops it's just not really worth it you might as well go and buy a new if you're going to do that so let's get the memory out and we'll upgrade the memory to eight gigabytes now when this was on windows 7 it was really sluggish and really slow i tried to upgrade it to windows 10 which i did successfully everything went fine and of course it was still slow and that's because it only had four gigs of memory and uh, I needed to give it more. Check the motherboard manufacturer and it says I can put another four gig in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Pick this up pretty cheap and uh, it's worth doing if you can get it cheap. Now this is brand new, of course, which means uh, it's not used or anything like that. So which is probably gonna be a better thing for the future. So I'm gonna put this into uh, the laptop itself. You just have to marry up the little notch there and slide it into the slot. It's just the same as um, a desktop really you just have to find the slot and slot it in with the notch around the right way and click it into position and that's it we've now got eight gigs of ram in this machine which should help out a fair bit and make it a little bit more snappier when we're doing tasks on the laptop itself so i just need to get out the hard drive now this is a really old slow hard drive it's probably 5600 revs per minute which makes it really sluggish so if we can remove this from the laptop and put an SSD in here, it's going to make a massive difference on boot up times and also 
opening and closing files and just generally moving files around so what can you use this laptop for I would say you know you can use it for light use i.e surfing the web watching youtube videos uh, you know documents emails stuff like that general use if you're looking to start making this a gaming laptop then forget about it it's just too old and it's just not worth it but if you want something portable or maybe watch some movies on or something like that then it's going to be okay or something along those lines so just keep it realistic it's not going to be uh, a super duper uh, fast laptop even with the uh, solid state drive in here it just gives it another lease of life and uh, that's what we're looking to do here now of course this is for an elderly woman who is going to be using this laptop just for light use facebook surfing the web um, emails and also just basic uh, YouTube stuff and stuff like that. So it's going to be fine for what she needs. Even with that little AMD uh, uh, two core processor in there, that should be fine. So it's had an upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And we're just going to remove these screws from the hard drive caddy here and put in the solid state drive and just put the screws back in. So it's just basically transplanting one to the other it's pretty simple now if you obviously want to clone your drive you can do that it's pretty straightforward to do i've made videos on how to do that you can check out my channel for those uh, what we're going to do here is just put in the ssd and tighten down the screws now you could remove this hard drive caddy if you wanted to you don't have to have that in there but for an ssd if you don't want to you could just slot that into the drive bay but i'm just going to put it back in there it's not going to hurt and we're just going to screw this down so you will need a little screwdriver set like these you can pick these up anywhere nowadays on amazon easy available on amazon so we'll just tighten these down and we'll put it back into its drive bay now these drives go in a certain way there's a little groove where the screw goes and you need to put it into that groove and then slide it down and then it just slots it into position and then you can slide it in like so and once that's in you've got a good connection there we can put the plastics back on and tighten the screws down now if you want to clone your drive uh, across to the ssd you can use a little device like this you can basically leave the mechanical drive in the laptop and then plug in your solid state drive into the blue part of this device and then plug your usb 3.0 into the laptop and then use your cloning software of your choice like a cronus or something like that uh, to clone the data across and you should be uh, good to go once you've done that and then just switch the hard drives around like you've seen me do in this video very straightforward and easy to do so all we've got to do now is get our Windows 10 onto the system and I'm going to do a fresh install on this because I do think it's going to be more beneficial for what I need to do here. So I'm just going to plug in the USB flash drive. I've already created the Windows 10 which is free to download on the website. You can download that and use their media creation tool to create your bootable USB flash drive. Once you plug this in because the drive is brand new it will automatically detect uh, the USB flash drive and start to boot up to uh, that drive you can see here it's now found uh, the USB with our Windows 10 ready to install on here and all I need to do is change the language to UK and it will start to install and away you go you're going to get a bunch of questions coming up about how you want to set up your Windows 10 and you just choose whatever you want to do here just try a quick cold boot time here this is um, a cold boot from start to finish and uh, I expect it will probably be around about 40 odd seconds or something like that because of the age of the laptop. And uh, we'll let this uh, boot up. And there was a bit of a delay there from me pushing the button, but I'm not too worried about that. So we'll just let this uh, boot up here. Now again, this is not going to be breaking any land speed records for the fastest laptop on the planet. It is what it is. Uh, we're just basically giving it a new lease of life and I will just boot this up and see how long this takes so it's gone past there we go so about it's around about 38 seconds uh, with the delay of me pushing the screen here so there we go that's basically it we've got a, a laptop that's give it a new lease of life 
and you can see here we did have Windows 7 we've upgraded to Windows 10 and it is activated so that's good if you look down on the left hand side there you will see I'm using that device to grab all the data off of that drive to put it onto the Windows 10 you can do it that way as well if you wish if you don't want to install the programs you can just grab all the data and basically um, put it drag it across using fabs auto backup or something like that or just manually grab it and drag it across anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video i'm going to wrap this one up i hope this one's been useful to you pretty straightforward and easy to do just have a good look around for the cheapest parts as possible don't go and spend vast amounts of money on expensive brand names for solid state drives especially with an old laptop like this uh, because it just doesn't make it uh, a, you know a viable project if you're spending far too much money on upgrading it you'd be better off buying new so there's your options available to you uh, my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i shall see you again for another video real soon have a great weekend bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos